What's a living trust? A living trust is a legal document that allows you to control how your assets are distributed after your death. What is a living trust? Today I want to talk about living trust. Why is it important that you have it? Why is it uh, that you want to avoid probate? But let me give you some reasons. A living trust is a legal document that allows you to control how your assets are distributed after your death. Uh, you know, this type of trust created while you're alive can be revocable and irrevocable. You know, assets in the living trust avoid probates. Probates, it's a mess. You don't want to do it. It drags on forever. Spend all kinds of money. Um, so probate can be costly, time consuming. So avoiding it, avoiding it, it's a major benefit. You know, so go for, think about getting a living trust. Uh, they usually toss between a thousand to fifteen hundred, or sometimes three thousand, depending on the things that you do to it. Um, uh, another benefit of living trust is that it can provide asset distribution in the event you become, in, in, you know, incapacitated. You know, if you, if you become incapacitated and you don't have a living trust, your assets will go through probate and, you know, it, in order to be distributed. So then everybody fights, right? All the siblings or, or cousins that were you never know you have want to fight for it. So just avoid all that by making a living trust. Uh, a living trust can also be uh, revocable or irrevocable. So a revocable trust can be changed or revoked at any time. So if somebody pisses you off, take them out of your trust. Oh wow, an irre irrevocable trust cannot be changed once you create it. Getting a living trust is a big, big, big decision and you know, it, one that shouldn't be taken lightly. So I recommend you consult a great attorney, state planning attorney, I know quite a few, you know, to determine if a living trust is right for you. Uh, trust that avoid medical and keep your property in your name too. I also have a great attorney that does that. So, you know, sometimes I heard stories where the, before, this was like 2017, I think when the law changed, somewhere in there, where the parents gave the property to the daughter or the, or the son, so that way they can keep continuing getting benefits, Medicare, Medicare, and, uh, and, and so they don't get their property once they're dead. So, but what happens, some of these relatives become so money hungry, they never give the property back to the parents, and uh, poor parents, I've seen it happen. So, happened to a couple clients of ours. So, unfortunately, there's nothing you can do once they give the title to the other person. They got it back at the end, but they had to pay some money off. Very sad, very sad to doing that to your parents. So something important too uh the trust is usually in a binder you know so here are my suggestion don't ever lose it because once it's lost you're going to go to probate but how you protect yourself a great attorney will get a digital copy and give it to you so i know the great good attorneys that will do that for you so until the next time I'll see you later take care